Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn about how to attach data to a page using Remake. Uh, this is going to allow us to be able to manipulate that data, add new data, and sort items. Um, this is the foundation of Remake, Remake, is being able to add data to the page. Um, if you're a beginner or you're confused by this lesson, please check out the How Data Works in Remake video and that'll explore uh, in more depth what arrays and objects are. If you're not familiar with those, what those are, please look up that video. Okay, so to get started, um, let's first look at this app. So this app is a Trello clone, and it has lists of items. <laughs> it has add buttons for adding new cards to each um, list, and it has a button at the bottom too. And it has a button for adding a new stack, which will add a new list to the end of this list over here. But right now, this page doesn't work. It's just a design. This is just HTML and CSS, and it doesn't have any remake on it, so you can't actually drag these items. You can't drag the lists. You can't uh, add a new stack. It just doesn't work. So we're going to um, do the first steps here, which are, which is adding data to this page so that Remake can understand it, and then we can lay out the page. So the first thing we want to do is um, let's look at some of the HTML. So up here at the top, we have the header text. Now, um, in Remake, there's three data types. There's strings, there's objects, and there's arrays or lists. In Remake, they're called lists. So for the header text, we're going to want to attach an object because that's going to have a label for the data, as well as a value, which is going to be the string. So let's start by putting this on a new line so that it's easier to work with multiple attributes. And we're going to do data O type equals object. Now the O here stands for output, and any attributes that have data O in them are going to be outputting data from the page. Now if we just have this data O type object, um, we're going to be uh, we're going to be outputting a single object from the page. And in order to label some of its data, we're going to say data o key is uh, header text. And we're going to have that equal to hometown dance recital. So let's put that in and refresh the page and see what happens. So now on our right, we can see our data. We get back an object and we have header text as the label and the value of hometown dance recital. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to introduce you to a, another type of attribute here. Um, but before I do, I want to just look at this attribute a little bit closer. So this is pretty essential for Remake. This is how you attach data to the page, is with a key attribute um, that has a label after it, and then a value as its value. Um, and this first part, the data-o-key-dash part, is just telling Remake that this is an attribute with a label and a value, and the part after this data o key is going to be the label, and then the part after that, um, after the equal sign, is going to be the actual value for that label. Now, <clears throat> the new attribute is data l key. Now, that's also an output attribute. <clears throat> I actually um, regret slightly naming it L, but it works just like an O attribute, except it is going to look inside the current element for its data. So we actually don't need to add this um, value right here. We can delete that, and it's going to look directly in here for its value. So let's actually just put like a, a 1 after that, just to make sure it's getting the right uh, data, and we're going to refresh this page, and now we can see we have uh, hometown dance recital one. You can kind of <laughs> kind of see that one right there, right? Um, there we go. So now um, we know we're saving the inner text of this element, and that's how we uh, save data with Remake using the inner content of the element is just using this location uh, attribute data l key, and then the name we want to save. 
Um, you'll also notice that the uh, labels are automatically camel case. See, so we have header and then capital T text instead of uh, header dash text. That's because in JSON, using camel case is much better, but in HTML, you want to use dash case most of the time. Okay, so let's add some more data to this page. So the first thing we want to do actually is add some kind of a list because we have these lists of lists, right? So we want to, if we can imagine how we're going to display these lists on the page later, um, we're probably going to loop through um, a series of lists and display each one, and then we're going to list uh, loop through each of their cards and display those. So let's wrap um, the stacks. So these are, a stack is what, what this is, this whole item right here. We're going to wrap that in a list. So Let's um, put this on a new line here, and we'll say data o type equals list. Um, and we're also going to give this a key in its parent object so that it just has a label, right? Um, so we'll say data o key, and uh, data o key without anything following it, that's going to create a context in the current, in the parent object. So we're going to say stacks. Um, so now we should output, we should be outputting a list or an array that has a label of stacks. So let's try that. Refresh the page. Great. So now we have the header text for the overall app. We still have that, but now we have stacks and we have an empty list. Um, okay. So now <coughs> we are going to be able to add some of our, um, our data for the pay, for the, uh, for the list for each stack. So we have logistics, volunteers, performance, photography and video, and promotion. So let's look at uh, each stack and let's add an object to each one of these. So we'll select all of them with Command D in Sublime Text and we'll create new lines. And we're just doing this on every um, element that match, right? And we're going to say data o type equals object. And that's going to create an object of each stack so that it can save in the list. If we refresh the page, <coughs> boom, we have a list of objects. Now they're all empty, so we need to add some data in there. So let's look at um, where we're going to add that. So logistics is the first one. That's the stack heading. So we're going to select the stack text, which is the class we have for that. <coughs> and we're going to put this on a new line. And we're going to say data o type equals object so that it knows it can export a key value pair or a, a label and a value. And we're going to say data o key, except actually we don't want o here, we want l because we want to look inside the current element. And we're going to say um, stack text. Um, or we can say stack heading, that's fine. And we actually don't need a value there because it's going to just look inside of the current element. So now if we do that, what's going to happen? If we refresh the page, all of a sudden we have all of the stack headings um, with all of the values that we have on the page. Now this is a quick and easy way to kind of bootstrap our data for Remake. Um, <coughs> and we're using the existing template to, to do that. Um, so that's pretty nice. Okay, next we're going to have these lists of cards. So let's, um, let's see where that is. So if we go back up to the top of the page, <laughs> we're just going to go into this first stack list. Okay, perfect. So we've got stack list. Let's select all of these, put them on a new line so we have room for more attributes. And we'll say data o type list, but we wanted to have a label in the parent context, so we're going to say data o key equals cards, because that's going to, this is going to be a list of the cards right here, right? Um, so now we have a list labeled cards. Let's see what that looks like. We'll refresh the page, and now we have inside of each stack, we have um, a list or an array that's labeled with cards. Okay, now let's uh, create the data, the inner data. Now this is all going to make a lot of sense in the coming videos. 
um, why we're adding data to the page this way. It's going to make it incredibly easy to manipulate the data, um, add new data, um, because Remake is going to understand the structure of the page and where all the data is. So when you move the data or the elements on the page, it's going to automatically update the data in your database. It's, it's going to be pretty wild. OK, so we have the cards. Let's get the card text next. So we're going to select all of these card texts. And then we're going to put these on new lines. Go to the end here. Say data o type equals object. And data l key. Uh, and we're going to say card text. And that's going to just point to the inner um, element here, uh, the inner text of the current element to get the data. So let's refresh this. And um, that's great. So now we have the stacks, each that have a stack heading, and um, a list of cards. And each one has card text inside of it. Um, and just so that we have a better view of this, yeah, so this is going to match up exactly uh, with what's on our uh, with what's on our page, um, and that's all we had to do in order to bootstrap the data for our page. <clears throat> so now we have everything we need to render this page dynamically, and once we're once we're using this data, which we're not yet, but once we're using this data to render the page, everything else is going to get easier, and and we're going to be able to make the whole page dynamic. So that's what I'm going to show you in the next uh, video. <clears throat> um, uh, but that's it for now. That's how we add the data, all the data we need uh, for this page. And from here, it gets easier. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to render this data on the page. And then we're going to quickly get to editing and making the page uh, sortable and adding new items. Those are going to be much easier than what we just did here. OK, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.